Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to bring you some information about what we can expect from NVIDIA's Pascal launch as far as the Founders Edition and aftermarket cards are concerned. In the last video we did like this, I was talking about the Founders Edition cards and, you know, the, the pricing with that, with the MSRP and how that was going to fall, and there were still some questions in my mind. Uh, one of those questions was, are we going to see some of those board partners like Zotac, Asus, Gigabyte, EVGA, are we going to see those traditional avenues releasing Founders Edition cards as well? And now we know the answer to that question at least is yes. EVGA has gone ahead and they've launched a, a sale page already for the EVGA GTX 1080 Founders Edition card for $699.99 and you can get auto notified on their website if you want to sign up for that with your email so that you know as soon as the card goes live and you can go ahead and buy it. So I've signed up for that because I'm still just waiting to wherever I can get one of these Founders Edition cards from because honestly a reference card is a reference card. It doesn't really matter who you get it from at the end of the day. That's not the case with the aftermarket cards which we're going to touch on in a moment but with the Founders Edition or reference cards uh, traditionally in the past it doesn't matter because it's an NVIDIA design that they make to reference, which is why it was always called the reference design before they went and changed it to Founder Edition. Weird naming. But on the on the reference design, it was called that because it was reference. And all, when all the board partners would make the same card, they would have to make it to the exact specification of NVIDIA. And they couldn't they didn't really have a lot of liberations with that. So that's why we see aftermarket cards. Zotac as well, they've also put up a page, nothing on here for auto notify that I was able to find, but they've got some sale information and specifications here that you can go look through for the GTX 1080 Founders Edition. Once again, it's just the same exact one that's going to be sold by NVIDIA and presumably Gigabyte Asus and all those other, all those other companies as well. It's just the same exact model uh, being reiterated from all of them. So the stock GTX 1080s are going to be shipping at 1.6 gigahertz and they'll be able to boost to around 1.73 gigahertz. Uh, and overclocking wise, you'll be able to get it up to at least two gigahertz. And the main limiting factor there really, as far as overclocking on the card is the fact that it's on a single eight pin power connector, which would limit to you to around 225 Watts, depending on the power supply that you use. Some power supplies can go over 225 Watts, but for the most part, uh, you're probably going to see a limitation there on a single eight pin connector. But thankfully some of the board partners like Asus, Colorful, EVGA, Galax, Gigabyte, and MSI are all preparing custom boards that are going to have two to three 8-pin power connectors, um, and according to some of the sources, you should be able to get up to around 2.5 gigahertz on a liquid-cooled setup uh, without much of a hassle at all. So now that leaves me sitting here, you know, still questioning my decisions going forward is do I still want to get a Founders Edition card knowing in my head now that they're all shipping with a single 8-pin power connector and that's going to limit my overclocking potential. I've never been a serious GPU overclocker, but I mean, I would still feel really bad leaving that additional performance on the table, so... It's going to have me thinking a little bit now going forward and hopefully, I don't know, maybe we'll see like a super clock version from EVGA with an extra 8 pin power connector. I don't know, hopefully, like fingers crossed here. I want to see like some super clocked cards or in, in the reference design, hopefully, uh, because you guys know me. I like to use the reference design because of my case and SLI. I'm not going to go into that again, but I just li I've always liked the reference cards. So I'm hoping we see a, a design with more than an 8 pin power connector, but I'm just I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys, but this definitely raises a lot of questions for me, and I'm sure it's going to raise some for you guys as well, and I'd like to pose you the question uh, down in the comments below, is if you were already planning to get a Founders Edition, uh, you know, for whatever your reasons are, is, is, this, is this going to change it now? Are you going to say, okay, maybe I'll wait for the board partners to ship, because if you are getting a card with just a single 8-pin power connector, it's going to limit you there, so... Uh, that's yeah, that's a lot to think about and I would be curious to see what your feedback is down in the comments below and uh, I'll see you down there in the discussion and I'll catch you next time